Oh, you see minions? Yeah. What do you think about the days when your wife just wants a big break? Oh, I totally understand. <laughs> Fam, Sarah here. Happy Sunday! It is Sunday in our household and we have been on an adventure all day. We got began by going to church this morning and we went a little bit earlier than we typically do this just so we could get a lot more done in our day and it was actually really good. Nice. Yeah and um, after that we ended up just kind of going on a little excursion to kind of um, sightsee I guess. Is that what you want to call it? Well, yeah, it was a nice day, but windy. So we just yeah. wanted to explore some areas we've never been. Exactly. And I wanted to go to the place. Oh, give it up. <laughs> Zoe's reminding me. You know when you, you go out traveling with kids and they always see all the things and they want to do want all to the things. Pottery. What's that? I want that? to paint pottery. I get it. She saw this pottery thing and she wanted to go do it, but we couldn't just do that on the fly. It was just not the day to do that. So. No, it wasn't. I have... I have some um, footage of that and we'll insert it in this vlog to kind of just show you just, I don't know, if there's a lot, there wasn't, this place didn't have a whole lot per se. It was more so like shopping and just a little bit of sightseeing, right? Yeah, it was like a, kind of almost like a retirement community. I just realized you're wearing, you're wearing, it says kitty doctor. <laughs> Zoe's been playing doctor. Zoe gave me a doctor's badge. She was training me. Oh, I see. She was training me up like Pearl. Did it and did it did it. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. So so anyways, mm. and then after that we went and just picked up some food. So we just had um we had a treat today for supper. <laughs> no cook day for me. Yay me. Very happy about that. What do you think about the days when your wife just wants a big break? Oh, I totally understand. <laughs> I, I totally understand. Right? Who wants to live in the kitchen? So, yeah. 
Um, we had a big break, and oh yeah, we also bought some donuts. I'll show you the donuts real quick. Uh, one please. Uh, one apple fritters. What else do you want to try? Hmm. Uh, peanut butter. So we also got some donuts. Those are Boston cream. Mm -hmm. Those oh, are chocolate this chips. Is this is a cream? peanut butter chocolate. Yeah. Oh, I want. This is an apple fritter. Mm -hmm. I want one of these. Okay. And then we got a bunch of other donuts here. Come on. Wow, these look like the specialty ones. What so are that's these? That's French toast. Yeah. That's, uh, I think it's like raspberry crumble. Mm hmm. That's your powdered. And yeah. This is your Dutchie. Oh, nice. Mm. Yeah. We all stopped by this donut place on the way home and then we dropped the kids off and just quickly went and did some grocery shopping. So I'm going to do a little bit of a haul in here because it's been a while since I have done a haul. I have been, I don't know, I've been slacking. I was trying to do the compilation for you guys, but then sometimes I'm like, oh, it's a grocery haul. Why am I filming a grocery haul so I don't bother? And or other times, or truth be told, a lot of times it's, it's also just kind of busy when the groceries come in, we're in a rush or something of that nature so I'll film a little grocery haul that we got today for you guys as well Ooh, this looks really good Look at is that the stuff. one you wanted Zoe yeah yummy chocolate Ooh. donut no oosk makes up <laughs> oh. that looks so good <laughs> you don't have to ask how does it taste How's it taste? Just really fresh. It tastes different than, than the ones that you'd get at like Tim Hortons or something? Mm-hmm. Yeah? Yeah? And the chocolate tastes like dark chocolate. Mmm. Do you like that or no? It's different. Yeah, it's good. Oh, okay. Yeah, it tastes, I mean, it tastes like real yeah, chocolate. Yummy. How do you like it? It's good. <laughs> you have a sweet tooth, don't you, ma'am? Gotta to tend to this hair again because by the time we turn around, you have I'm swimming. You have swimming. You have swimming after tomorrow, day after tomorrow. Mm. Guys, <laughs> this is a quick glimpse of our food. This was fried chicken, so kids ate out all the chicken and left some rice, which is really good. And then this is a little bit of the curry goat left, and we had another curry goat. Had another curry goat over here, which is practically done. Okay, guys, so I'm putting this little haul together for you guys to show you a couple of the things that we picked up. Just needed a couple little knickknacks around the house because we did go do grocery shopping last week before Hubby had gone away on a business trip. So that said, we didn't really need to pick up a ton. It's just more so things that we need to survive on throughout the week as well as like perishables stuff like the produce that goes really fast because the little ones and myself we do have a lot eat a lot of fruits so So beginning with this bag, I was telling babes that um, I need to replace this bag because I got it a while back from um, a friend who was selling like 21 and then I got this, I got our name, the Zebra Tribe Family on top of it, um, what do you call it, embroidered, the Zebra Tribe Family embroidered in it, which is really cool. It has become our grocery bag. Actually, when I got it, I didn't know what I was going to use it for. I was going to use it for, but it ended up becoming our grocery bag, and it's being used <laughs> every. It's been used every week. Basically, we bring it in with our groceries, and then I just make sure it goes back in the trunk. I don't always remember to bring it in the store, which is a. Uh, it's not a good thing because we no longer have bags here, right? No stores don't give out bags anymore where we live which I think it's kind of universal. It's probably happening all over the world. Let me know if it happens. It is where you guys are, but that's what's happening here in Canada. And so we have to bring our own bags to the store. So we have to bring our own bags to the store. And I tend to forget a lot, but the good news is even if I push my card out to the car, this is in the trunk and I can always pack it or hubby can always pack it. So that's a good thing. Anyways, this week we grabbed some croissants, cucumbers, avocados. We grabbed two things of 
Can we shove this donut over on the other side there? Yeah. We'll grab two things, packages of bagels, bananas, bread, two of those, apples. And can you bring the stuff that you put over, we put over there? Oh, yes. it's okay. The eggs, the butter, and this. So we also bought eggs, which we had to run and put in the fridge real quick when we got home. We grabbed, we also bought some cold cut because we are down to one package left and the kids use this stuff. Ooh. And the kids use this stuff for school, so we ended up buying another package and we also picked up a treat. And then of course we ended up having to get some of the main things like detergent. We were running low on detergent and that means that we're gonna be stalled when it comes to laundry. And when you're a large family, you cannot stall because this the piles of laundry, they add up really quickly and then you are behind. And so we went out and got some real quick. Um, this. We're trying these ones. We have been using the detergent, but we've never used the pods. I guess they don't call them pods. What do they call them? Fillings? Yeah, so let me know if you guys have used this before. Um, we have not used these. We've used the actual liquid version of it, but we haven't used those, so. And then we also got, we also got ourselves some of this stuff to help freshen up our laundry. We also picked up some razors, and these are the Sensitive Plus for sensitive skin. Comes with 15, I believe this was like 30, $34 or something like that. Yeah, $34 for 15. We grabbed some socks. And these are, I guess, Tommy's. We grabbed some socks there as well. It is tax season. It's tax season around here, so well, <laughs> it's kind of at the later end of tax season. So we're gonna be doing, we picked up a software to do that as well. And then we picked up, last but not least, we grabbed two other things. I think if you, I don't know if you guys remember that I picked up like a beige one of this recently. I think I showed it in yesterday, the last vlog that I put out that we got one for Zoe. We were looking at the time. It's a short suit set, by the way. It's shorts with a long sleeve. It's like perfect for summer, uh, especially like if you have a beach day or it gets cool outside. Um, it's like a perfect fit for those type of cool summer days. When we got one for Zoe the last time, there wasn't a size three for Zabby. It would be nice to have picked him up one, but they didn't have any at that time, so... Um, so we came by one today which was really cute and we got his in black and hers is in the cream or cream color the beige we also grabbed some soap and then they had khaki shorts there and i really wanted to try it i really hope it fits because i did get i don't know the medium looked like it would have, was going to be small and then the large looks like it might be big but then again it's just deceptive because it's not stretchy the waist is stretchy is the pants stretchy the waist is stretchy but the pants isn't stretchy anyways i'm gonna try that i decided to just grab a black khaki something neutral that i can wear with anything throughout the summer they had a bunch of different colors but i only wanted to grab one first to see if it fits if it fits i might grab the khaki pair because khaki is like my least worn <laughs> I don't know, piece of clothing in my wardrobe. I don't have anything khaki. And it would be just really nice to kind of incorporate that, especially if the bottoms are are what's khaki. So anyways, I'm gonna give these a try and I will let you guys know how it fits. Um, I think that's pretty much it. While we were on our little excursion this morning, we did find a bunch of stuff. We picked up this popcorn, it's called Toronto Popcorn Company. Anyways, we got kettle corn popcorn. It's I don't know, just something to try. Yeah, and then we picked up just some cute little candies. Anyways, for those of you guys who always wanna know like the total of the Costco haul, the Costco haul was like $430, but it doesn't even look that big. I should just show you an overhead of the type of the groceries. But then we also <laughs> we also picked up pull-ups and while Baby Boy is potty training, which I was telling you about in the other, in the last vlog that we put out, he is doing so well. Um, he just tells us when he needs to go most of the times. It's just when he's tra we're traveling out that we need it because in the case where he just forgets, you don't want him to have an accident accident. So it's nice to have those pull-ups for just for now while his bladder is in training. So we at we ended up having to do a mini return because last night we realized <laughs> at the last minute that we were running out of diaper out of pull-ups. And then we picked up something else that was more of like an emergency, something different that we haven't used. It's like easy ups or something. 
wrong move because it did not fit very well and I didn't like the fact that they were not adjustable and they were fitting for his age age range it was like 2t to 3t he's in 3t it was on the smaller end it was too tight it didn't fit very well and it wasn't adjustable so after having open it the case because I needed it right away I ended up using like one or two out of there and 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 then seeking to exchange it today luckily they took it back but they said that they don't usually do that sort of stuff but like seriously it's 34 dollars <laughs> 34 dollars for it and i wouldn't have had any um anything to do with i wouldn't have had anything to do with it because like what what was i going to do if it couldn't fit him so luckily they took it back thank god <laughs> it's a sunday <laughs> and then we were able then we were able to pick him up his pull-ups with like you know Spider-Man on it that he actually likes and that we're used to. So that is it for today's vlog guys. I'm deciding to end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with us on our little excursion for the day. I know the vlog was a little bit short, but it honestly kind of had just a little bit of everything that goes on typically in a large family from week to week. Um, also our ending, our night or evening, I should say rather, ended pretty strangely, but I'm gonna save that for our story time, okay? Because it, I just, uh, yeah, I don't want to even get into it right now. Our ending, our, our evening was just so strange. <laughs> but um, overall, our, did, our day went really well. Um, thank you guys so much for tuning in. And don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I want to try to be a little bit more consistent on here. So let me know the content that you guys are looking for and what you want to see more of. But until next time, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.